Thank you, uh, Honourable Chairperson. <clears throat> Chairperson, uh, the Honourable Chairperson of the Appropriation Committee, Honourable Butelezi, said just now that South Africa has enough for us, everybody, for everybody in the country to share. The problem, Chairperson, is that the ANC government is making a concerted effort of it to make it less and less of everything that there was to be shared by South Africans. Because Chairperson, the country is in trouble. Everybody is in trouble. This boat is sinking. And the ANC government is not really realizing it. If we look at household incomes, at the desperate situation that most South Africans are in, we are not solving the poverty and the inequality problem. Chairperson, the Honorable Butelezi also refers to the fact and admits that infrastructure is the catalyst for growth. It's the backbone of a happy economy, he says. It is. The problem, Chairperson, is that South Africa currently has a 4.8 trillion rand infrastructure investment gap. We have corruption in all forms when it comes to infrastructure projects. And the problem is that that, that the Honorable Butelezi talks about that there is to share in this country is stolen by ANC cadres where government is allowing government departments to be exploited. Let me give you one example in the recent past. The Department of Communication and Digital Technology paid 80,000%. Listen, Honorable Papu, 80,000% more than you would pay for the same product in the open market. That is what your government is allowing. That is what your government is allowing. You're not changing that because it happened now. It happened now. There's no new dawn. It happens all the time. You're not eradicating corruption. And that's the problem. You can talk here about a budget that's there to promote economic growth, but the money is being stolen. Let me ask you this. How many dams has been built since 1994 in South Africa by government? How many dams? One. 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 Only one. Now, that's the problem. You talk about infrastructure, you talk about water infrastructure. Let me say this, Chairperson, we are in a crisis with regards to water and especially water corruption in water pro uh, pro projects. That has a social impact and people are suffering. They don't have water. Go to towns in the free state. Go to towns where there's not a drop water in towns. And then there's no infrastructure investment because the money that is there is stolen by tenderpreneurs and by cadres. Because the only thing that the ANC government prioritizes is talking about the past and racial rhetoric for your election campaign. Because you can't promise the people of South Africa anything because you haven't delivered anything. So the only thing you can do for your 2024 election campaign is once again talk about apartheid and talk about the past. Your minds are behind bars because you're not actually talking about what is necessary to address the inadequacies facing by South, faced by South Africans. When we talk about ESCOM, you ruined ESCOM. You managed Thank to you very much, another a member. monopoly and make it bankrupt. And that is your legacy. The Thank people you very of South much. South Africa are suffering because of the agency government. I thank you.